It's time for Kosciuszko Whippet Baseball on Breezy 101, the Breezy 101 mobile app, and streaming live at breezynews.com. Got the Kosciuszko Whippets opening district play tonight at the home ballpark at the Italic County Fairgrounds against the Warriors from Choctaw Central High School. First district game of the year. The Whippets have been able to fit in only three games so far, one one and lost two as raindrops have uh, and weather have played havoc with February baseball. That's an often told story. And I'm Philip Palmertree. I've got Donald in the studio. I'm glad to be with you for year number six of being the voice of Kosciuszko Whippet Baseball. Ninth year I've done this in some capacity or other, either filling in or taking the main job. And we're going to have baseball for you at the top of the hour. Choctaw Central's had even more trouble getting Games in winning uh, or losing their only ball game. They've, as best we can tell, been able to fit in only one ball game. So they come in at 0 and 1. Whippets at 1 and 2. But now these games really start to mean something as far as Region 4, District 4, uh, excuse me, Region 4 4A play is concerned. And uh, so we got it coming for you on a, a what has been a beautiful day in Central Mississippi. And uh, welcome to the Premier Medical pregame. Uh, we'll have the Holmes Community College starting lineups coming up. Central Electric Power Association first pitch. Uh, a lot of that coming up. The Warriors from Choctaw Central are already lined up on the first baseline. Whippet starters being announced, and they're taking the field. So uh, we we're going to have baseball probably just a couple of minutes before 7, and we'll have all that for you after we take this break on Basel Media Sports. The beauty of spring starts at the Atala County Co-op. From your lawn to your flower beds, the Atala County Co-op will make it stand out against the rest with fountain, outdoor furniture, plants, and yard art. It's t-shirt weather, and the Atala County Co-op has a large selection of Old Row, Southern Point, and Strut and Cotton t-shirts, and new spring apparel from Ariat and Carhartt. For the perfect drinking experience, grab a brewmate before you head out to the baseball or softball field. The Itala County Co-op, Highway 12 East in Kosciuszko. When an electrical shortage in your office causes extensive smoke and water damage or that musty odor indicates you might have a mold problem, you need a lot more than just help cleaning up. That's why SurfPro Northeast Delta Lands is the authority when disaster strikes. We offer all the cleanup and construction services to take your home or business to good as new and as soon as possible. So no matter what happens, there's just one call you need to make. Call SurfPro Northeast Delta Lands at 662-289-7473 to see how we can help you back to like it never even happened. Franchises are independently owned and operated. Have you been putting off coming to the dentist lately? Hello, I'm Dr. Adam Middleton from Autumn Ridge Dental in Kosciuszko. We know life has been busy and routines have changed for many. However, we do not want you to neglect your oral health. We are treating patients with a mindset we have always held, that proper, regular, preventive care can help keep your mouth healthy and functioning properly. We want all our patients to have a smile they can be proud of. Please call us at 662-289-7076 for an appointment. Come see us and we will give you something to smile about. Hello, I'm Frank Shaw. And I'm Blake Harthcock. We're, We're attorneys, attorneys at Frank Shaw Law Firm in Kosciuszko. Have you been injured on the job? Hurt in a wreck? Need help with a disability claim? Then give us a call today. Frank Shaw Law Firm has served the people of Mississippi for over 38 years. If you can't come to us, we'll come to you. Call us today for a free consultation. Or find us on Google at frankshawlawfirm.com. We're located just off the square in Kosciuszko. Free background information on request. Listing of the above legal services or specific areas of practice does not indicate any certification of expertise there. Boswell Media Sports. 
First pitch about to get started at the Itala County Fairgrounds. Whippets put Parker Riles on the mound for tonight's opening district game as the Premier Medical pregame wraps up and we're getting ready for first pitch. We've got, uh, as I was saying right before we had to uh, pause for the break there, it has been a beautiful day around Itala County, but it has cooled off quickly out here at the ballpark where we've had softball going on next door. Uh, Kosciuszko and Ethel meeting in softball. Choctaw Central and Kosciuszko here. If you live in Kosciuszko or Tala County, you may look around and see your neighbor's lights off, nobody there. Don't worry, they have not enlisted in the Ukrainian Army as far as we know. They're probably out here at the Tala County Fairgrounds watching softball and watching baseball on a 53-degree evening. And we had highs up above 70 today, but uh, no wind. Nice, very comfortable night. The humidity's uh, right at about 50%. And uh, just a, a gorgeous evening on March 1st as baseball gets underway, softball getting underway, basketball still going on at the championship level for a lot of schools. So we've got that transition going on. But it's time now for the Central Electric Power Association first pitch. Uh, field looks, uh, looks like it's dry, very playable. Still a lot of bare spots around. It's hard to get the grass to grow when those field conditions weather report presented by your friends at the Itala County Co-op. First batter in the batter's box, Braylon McMillan, the Choctaw Central center fielder. He takes one upstairs for a ball from Parker Riles. Second pitch taken for a strike. Here we go, underway. It's 6.59 the first pitch. First pitch presented by Central Electric Power Association. A called strike on the outer half of the plate to run the count to a ball and two strikes to McMillan. Right-hander comes set, winds, and he gets him to swing at a, about a letter-high fastball. And that's a Reliant Therapy strikeout to start the ball game. One out in the first inning. First inning presented by Pickles Drugstore. That brings up shortstop Cullen Dixon. Another right-handed batter for this Warrior lineup. Riles fires it in there. Fastball that's inside on the hands. Ball one. Riles winds and pitches. Puts one off the plate outside for ball two. Here's the 2-0 pitch. That one, he could tell he, uh, when the catcher was set up, that ball got away from Riles, came inside. Now it's 3-0 to Dixon. Two Dixons in the Choctaw Central starting lineup. Oh, when bats in the seven spot. And there's one straight down the middle as Dixon was taking. Three balls and a strike to Dixon. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air, it's going to drift foul toward the softball field, but land just behind the first base dugout. So that runs the count full. Riles making the comeback here after falling behind 3-0. and Top of the first inning, just underway. One out, nobody on for Choctaw Central. And that pitch reaches out and puts it foul over the press box. This count remains full. Riles from the windup. Ball bounces three times towards short. Scooped up. Nunn's got it. Throws over to first and gets him by a couple of steps. For out number two. Two out now in the top of the first. Nobody on base. And catcher Gage Lewis will come in. Another right-hander for senior righty Parker Riles to face. Come set. Oh, that one breaking ball didn't break on him. Kind of stayed up and he had to Lewis duck a little bit. Ball one. Riles gets the sign from Connor Wallace, brings it 
just off the plate outside, 2-0. and Riles takes his time. Now the kick and the delivery. And a high fastball swinging underneath it. Strike one is Lewis. Two balls and a strike. He came off speed, got him to swing for a ball that a nice curve ball buried itself down there for strike two. Count even now two and two. Here's the pitch, 2-2. Poked it off the end of the bat, rolls foul. All Britain over at first. Goes into foul territory and does a nice job gloving it just to get it back in. Saves us a little bit of time. Count remains two balls, two strikes to Gage Lewis. Lewis gets set, grounds the plate a little bit. 2-2 pitch on its way from Riles. That one just missed upstairs the ball. It's ball three. Two balls, two strikes. Outfield playing straight away. Payoff pitch. And he gets him on the inner half. Called strike three. Reliant therapy strikeout in the inning. Three up, three down for the Choctaw Central Warriors. So they fail to put anybody on base, don't get any runs, and the Whippets come in bat in the bottom of the first. Off to a good start as Parker Riles and the Kosciuszko Whippets will be back with the bottom of the first as Kosciuszko Whippet baseball continues. Baseball season is here, and that means fun for the entire family. Atala County Bank is proud to support Kosciuszko Baseball. We wish all the coaches and players a safe and exciting year and encourage fans to get out and cheer on your whippets. Atala County Bank, a branch of Holmes County Bank, 662-290-6963. Or visit atalabk.com. Supporting our community, it's what we do. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Reliant Physical Therapy always provides attentive, focused, and compassionate care for every patient to restore you back to your functional level. Physical therapist Haley Kewen and Adam Bell, along with assistants Veronica Wolfarth and Becca Shields Hayden, offer outpatient physical therapy and post op care for all ages and circumstances. Quality care and attentive time. When you need physical therapy, request Reliant Physical Therapy in Kosciuszko in the Megs Plaza, Highway 35 in Kosciuszko. Transforming lives physically and spiritually. Boswell Media Sports. Philip Palmertree with you as we start the bottom of the first inning. At the Italian County Fairgrounds, Choctaw Central not getting anything going out. One, two, three with a pair of Reliant Therapy strikeouts. So the Whippets will come to bat. We'll give you the Whippets starting lineup. That's presented by Holmes Community College. Kalen Powell, senior in center field, will lead things off. Landon Wallace, junior at second base, bats second. Brother Connor Wallace catches and bats third. He's a senior. In the cleanup spot, it's left fielder Will Carter. Parker Riles, tonight's pitcher in the five spot. Hayden Rogers, senior, starts in right field. He bats sixth, bottom three in the order. Braylon Albritton, the first baseman, seventh. Junior shortstop Jacob Nunn bats eighth. And Anthony Medin. Rounds it out. Anthony, the senior, playing over at third. So it's Powell, Landon Wallace, Connor Wallace, Carter, Riles, Rogers, All Britain, Nunn, Medine. No designated hitter in tonight's lineup for Coach Cole McBride's Kosciuszko Whippets. Kalen Powell's ready. Looking at right hander Braylon Smith. Ball taken right down the middle for a called strike one. All Britain, excuse me, a Powell, very productive last year in the leadoff spot for Kosciuszko. As he chops the 0 1 pitch foul over toward the Whippet dugout. Everybody's got to make sure they're paying attention. 0 and 2 now to the Whippet center fielder. Powell 
And Paul grounds it towards second, and it's off the end of the glove of the second baseman, and it caroms into shallow right field. Powell safe at first on a play that uh, should be ruled E4. The Wibbets have their first base runner, bottom of the first, first inning presented by Pickles Drugstore. Ball was hit hard. It hugged the ground. In the, first, in the second baseman for Choctaw Central, Grisham was uh, going to his left. Had to stick, the, stick his left hand out there and just uh, didn't have it quite measured right. Pitch way outside, and catcher comes up. Powell back in at first. He had taken a big lead, even perhaps thought about taking the steal. Smith now working from the stretch. Runner at first. Showing bunt is Landon Wallace. Runner goes. Pitch comes in. Ball skips away from the shortstop, but the center fielder backs it up, and there's a stolen base for Kalen Powell. So quickly, the Whippets get a runner in scoring position in the bottom of the first. Two balls, no strikes. The count to left-handed hitting Landon Wallace. Checks the runner. Pitch to the plate. Bunted beautifully up the third base line. It just dies. Smith slides as his uh, feet come out from under him right along the third base line, and everybody's going to be safe. That was one of the most beautifully placed bunts you're going to see off junior Landon Wallace, his bat. So now the Whippets have runners at first and third on that bunt single. There was no way that Smith was going to throw out Swift, Landon Wallace, because uh, that, that ball just rolled slowly. It had already died on the edge of the grass along the third, third the base path toward third before Smith could pick it up. And once he did, both feet just came right out from under him. First pitch hit straight up in the air between over toward now and drifting to foul territory, and it falls foul. The catcher and pitcher. Both had trouble tracking that ball. Smith and the catcher, Lewis. Batter was Connor Wallace. Connor hit it straight up the chute, and it drifted over toward the Whippet dugout about, oh, I don't know, about 12, maybe 15 feet. Catcher could not get a beat on it in time, and then it hit the ground. So dramatic sort of foul ball there. 0-1 to count to Wallace. Check of the runners, first and third. Off-speed pitch runner at second, taken off. The throw comes in, but offline on the first base side of the bag. Powell stays at third, but there's a stolen base, second stolen base of the night for Kosciuszko. This one credited to Landon Wallace. Now it's second and third, nobody out. Whippets have a lot going here. Third baseman playing pretty much even with the bag. Here's the 0-2 pitch, and it comes in and hits Connor Wallace on the left hip, and now there's a whip it at every base. Hit by pitch. And now they're in a world of trouble. Cooper Black's going to come in and run for Connor Wallace. Powell reached on an error. Wallace had a beautiful bunt single, and now Connor Wallace reaches on hit by pitch. And the batter's Will Carter. A golden opportunity for the whip at the top of the first corner. Infielder's in on the edge of the grass now. Fastball that's lifted way up high and drifts out of play on the left side for Carter for strike one. It's on the top of the batting, uh, batting practice cages over there. Smith from the stretch. That ball's lined into right field for a base hit. Powell scores easily from third. Wallace being waved around. Landon Wallace, he hesitates for a moment, but he's going to get in. And that's going to be a double. Two runs driven in for Will Carter. Runner second and third. Nobody out. Whippets take a 2-0 lead. A big hit into right field. Right fielder was a playing back, and the ball – didn't uh, reach him as quickly as he thought it was, and that allowed Carter alertly to put it in high gear and get to second base. Leg out the double. 
Two nothing whip, but still nobody out. Pitch upstairs to Parker Riles. One ball, no strikes. Two runs in. Two on in scoring position. Nobody out for Kosciuszko. Pitch fouled back over the net. Ball and a strike to Riles. And the shortstop drifts over. Colin Dixon gets over to third, and that little soft pop-up off the bat of Riles is caught for out number one. So now there's one out in the inning. That brings up the number six hitter, Hayden Rogers. Runner still second and third. Now one out at the bottom of the first inning. First inning presented by Pickles Drugstore. From the stretch, runner coming down the third baseline. It's bunted toward first. Runner scores, out recorded. Sacrifice bunt, beautifully executed from Hayden Rogers, and that drives in run number three in the bottom of the first. Coming straight down the line was Cooper Black. And he scores courtesy of the sacrifice bunt. Three nothing whippets, first three whippet batters have reached base and scored. They show that again as Bray Braylon Albritton stands in. He takes a strike at the knees. Give Rogers the RBI. There's a called strike. Braylon Albritton thought was a little low and off the plate. 0-2. Whip at first baseman, bats from the right side against Braylon Smith, here's the kick and the delivery, 0-2. It's hit up over, over the press box, 0-2. The count, if All Britain can reach, Jacob Nunn will hit next. Advantage right now, Braylon Smith for Choctaw Central. Here's the 0-2. Hit softly over the mound. Going to roll over the bag at second. Second baseman has to come dig it out, and he throws it high. And All Britain's going to be safe. All Britain probably would have beaten that out. That was a tough play. It was not hit all that hard. But it went perfectly over the first base side of the bag at second. And Grisham had to go away from the base to get it and then turn and throw. He threw it hard, but it was just a little bit high. I'm going to score that an infield single. I'm not sure there was any way that was going to be that was going to be an out. So Jacob Nunn bats. Fourth run comes in. Give All Britain the RBI as Carter scores. Four nothing whippets. Nunn chops the first one foul back. Gets the backstop. Three hits on the inning. For KHS. Eighth batter of the inning up to the plate. Jacob Nunn, two out. Braylon Albritton at first takes his lead. Smith puts it in and ooh, hits, hits him on the up along the shoulder. Nunn seems doesn't flinch, just wears it and heads down to first base. So now second and first and second. Coach York coming out of the dugout for Choctaw Central needs to talk to his pitcher who has hit now two batters in the inning, giving up three hits. There's been a defensive error, started things off in a bad direction for Choctaw Central. But it's 4 nothing whip at the bottom of the first. That gives me a little pause to get uh, more of our Holmes Community College starting lineups. I can set the defense for the Warriors. Henry in left, McMillan playing in center, Isaac in right. Dixon's on the left side of the infield. Cameron Dixon at third. Cullen Dixon at short. Grisham playing at second base. He's been active in this inning. Anderson at first. Lewis behind the plate. And Braylon Smith. Mound conversation comes to an end. Coach York from Choctaw Central heads back to the first base dugout. And the ninth hitter up in the inning, Anthony Medine, stands in. Whippets at first and second base. 
Runner taken off, and, they, and then the fastball comes in and hits Medin. Now that loads the bases. So now whipping at every base, Kalen Powell will come up with a sacks jammed and second time in the inning. Braylon Smith pitched for the Choctaw Central Warriors last year. Had a couple of pretty thin, I remember, kind of let them down a lot. There's a ball hit into the gap. It's going to get down. Center fielder did a nice job getting over, but All Britain scores easily. Here comes Nunn from third, and they'll hold the runners at second and third. And there's two runs driven in off the bat of Kalen Powell. His second trip to the plate in the first inning, and the Whippets have opened up a 6 nothing lead. Two doubles in the inning. That one was just stroked to left center field. Batters Landon Wallace. He's he singled and scored early in the inning. He swings, gets it's a little slow coming around on a fastball. But Dean down at third. Powell at second. Counts now a ball on a strike because the pitch was low to Powell. Powell started off the home half of the first, reaching on an error. Stole the base, scored. Fouls that one off. Going the other way. Landon Wallace, left-handed hitter. One ball, two strikes. Pitch on the way. And he sort of reaches down to get it, flares it up, and that's going to be a great play out there. I think that was the shortstop heading over to the line in shallow right field, making the catch right along the line, extended and kind of backhanded it. Splendid play to end the inning. But the Whippets, nonetheless, with six runs across in the first, six runs on four hits and one error committed in the inning. Whippets six, Choctaw Central nothing. Be back with the top of the second after this on Boswell Media Sports. When an electrical shortage in your office causes extensive smoke and water damage or that musty odor indicates you might have a mold problem, you need a lot more than just help cleaning up. That's why SurfPro Northeast Delta Lands is the authority when disaster strikes. We offer all the cleanup and construction services to take your home or business to good as new and as soon as possible. So no matter what happens, there's just one call you need to make. Call SurfPro Northeast Delta Lands at 662-289-7473 to see how we can help you back to like it never even happened. Franchises are independently owned and operated. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, the Chris Coleman Agency in Kosciuszko, knowing the customer and their individual needs is what we pride ourselves on. We know how important it is for everyone to have the peace of mind that your insurance coverages are tailored for you. Our team recognizes your life and your unique needs. That is why we provide you with numerous insurance options, an easy claim process, and personal attention that is second to none, all at one location without breaking the bank. Call us today at 662-289-1024 or visit us at 235 North Madison Street off the square in Kosciuszko. At Alpha, the Chris Coleman Agency, we guarantee the right fit for you and all of your insurance needs. Boswell Media Sports. Choctaw Central coming to bat in the top of the second. And they're staring down the barrel of a 6 0 Whippet lead. Whippets sent nine, or excuse me, 11 to the plate in the top of the first. Nice breaking ball taken in for a strike. Still had a lot of zip on that as Hayden Anderson takes strike one. It'll be Hayden Anderson, Braylon Smith, and Cashton. It's a little bit on the inside, and it's called strike as well. And the pitch low and away. One ball, two strikes to Anderson. One and two from the windup. Riles puts it down and in, but it gets down toward his feet. Two and two. 
Two balls, two strikes. Pitch on the way. Chopped toward the pitcher's mound. He goes to, to his right to get it. Fields it cleanly. Fires to All Britain and a 1-3 put out. Records out number one in the top of the second inning. Second inning presented by the Citizens Bank. Pitcher Braylon Smith hits from the right side. Parker Riles thrown 20 pitches so far. It's a fastball that's down just a little bit below the knees, ball one. Riles working quickly. Gets him to swing and miss at a fastball. It evens the count. One and one. Ricasiesco, uh, we'll see after this pitch. Set the defense for you. Hits it off the end of the bat, out of play toward the softball field. Will Carter plays left. Kalen Powell in center. Hayden Rogers in right. Anthony Medine. Third base, Jacob Dunn at short. Landon Wallace at second. Braylon Albritton playing first. Connor Wallace with the catcher's gear. Ball is hit. Well hit into right field, but going back on it is Rodgers. He has to reach up and catch it as he was heading straight back. And good job. That's a tough ball to catch. But the catch made, out recorded, two away in the top of the second. Oh, was well hit the other way. But good read by Rodgers. He had to, wasn't going straight back, had to go kind of back toward the scoreboard and get it. So the base is empty now for Cashton Grisham. Second baseman fouls it right back against the net. Oh and one. Riles, the right-hander, right on right matchup. Here's the 0-1. Reaches up, hits it way toward the crowd. Everybody's yelling heads up over at the softball field. Here's the pitch. Comes up and in. One and two, the count. One and two, swing and a miss at a fastball, and that's a Reliant Therapy strikeout. Third for Parker Rocker. And across for the Warriors. Middle of the second inning, Kosciuszko leads Choctaw Central in district play, 6 nothing. Back in 60 seconds. Hello, I'm Frank Schaff. And I'm Blake Harthcock. Harthcock. Hurt in a wreck? Need help with a disability claim? Then give us a call today. Frank Shaw Law Firm has served the people of Mississippi for over 30 years. Or find us on Google at frankshawlawfirm.com. Background information on request. Listing of the above legal services or specific areas of practice is not indicated. Indicate your pharmacist is more than someone who fills your pre surprise An owner, an owner. Square in Kosciuszko. Boswell Media Media. Whippets coming to bat in the home half of the second inning, leading Choctaw Central 6-0. And first pitch, crushed to center field. Connor Wallace straight away, ball going off the wall in center field. He's got a stand-up double. And boy, did he hit that ball hard. 
That one just about cleared the high wall in center field. First pitch swing and Connor Wallace with the third Kosciuszko double of the ball game. Cooper Black will come into the ball game to stand at second base and run for Connor Wallace. So what a way to start. Hope you heard that one on the crowd mic. Will Carter digs in now at the plate. Runner at second. Braylon Smith's pitch. That one's hit hard toward the corner, but it's going to go foul up against the wall. Down to left field. That one would have easily brought Black in from second. Thanks for joining us on Breezy 101, Breezy 101 mobile app. Audio stream at breezynews.com. We're having some Wi-Fi troubles kind of going up and down tonight. And Carter laces one to center field. Center fielder McMillan coming up on it, makes the catch, line out. For out number one, and Carter's retired here in the second. Second inning presented by the Citizens Bank. Black at second, and in steps Parker Riles. He popped out to short in the top of the first, or excuse me, bottom of the first inning. Whip at six, Choctaw Central nothing. Smith working from the stretch, looks at Black back at second. Now will throw it back there, but back in standing with the left foot is Black. Smith comes set. Now steps off the rubber. Has not thrown a pitch yet to Riles. Now brings it to the plate. That one's inside. Good take there by Parker Riles. Smith comes set. All speed pitch that somehow catches the inside corner, apparently, for a strike. One and one. Smith to the plate. Again, it's him to pop it up off the fist in foul territory, and that time Lewis able to go about 8, 10 feet to his right and make the catch. And they're two away in the home half of the second. That'll leave it up to Hayden Rogers to see if he can drive in Cooper Black. Inning started off with a bang with first pitch double off the center field wall by Connor Wallace. Since then, a line out to center and a pop foul out. All-speed pitch, chopped on the infield. Going to be a tough play at third. Scooped up, thrown, but out recorded. Another good infield play for Choctaw Central. As they get the out, Cameron Dixon making the play, and so the Whippets get no runs, one hit, no errors, and a runner left on base. Two complete in the book. Kosciuszko six, Choctaw Central nothing. Well, with the baseball coming up after this. Flu shots are now at Premier Medical Clinic in Kosciuszko and Carthage and Trace Urgent Care. An annual seasonal flu vaccine is the best way to reduce the chances that you'll get the seasonal flu and spread it to others. When more people get vaccinated against the flu, less flu can spread through our community. Protect yourself and your family from the flu. No appointment is needed for flu shots. Just walk in and they will see you shortly. Premier Medical Clinic in Kosciuszko and Carthage and Trace Urgent Care in Kosciuszko. Renaissance Insurance is your neighborhood insurance partner. Renaissance Insurance makes you feel at home with your home insurance. When you hit the road, Renaissance Insurance makes sure it's with the right auto coverage tailored for you. Renaissance Insurance takes the hassle out of sorting through business insurance. One stop, complete coverage. Call Robbie Robertson, Bradley Tyler, or Michael Hatcher at 662-289-4621. Renaissance Insurance, Court Square, Kosciuszko. Boswell Media Sports. (laughs) 
Parker Riles out to pitch the top of the third inning. He'll face the bottom three in the Choctaw Central order. So far, no hits, no runs. One error for Choctaw Central. Whippets have six runs on five hits. Have not committed any errors. Now batting number 48, Cameron Dixon. Left-handed hitting Cameron Dixon, third baseman, who made the nice play on the infield grass. Swings at a pitch that's up and away. There was some heat on that pitch from Parker Riles. Riles from the windup, 0-1 pitch off the plate. One ball, one strike. Parker's working pretty comfortably, just uh, about 30 pitches in. Gets the sign from Wallace, 1-1 pitch. Hit it hard on the ground toward third. Medine makes the play, throws across the diamond to Albritton, and that's out number one. Third inning presented by the Frank Shaw Law Firm. Tristan Henry, the left fielder, also a lefty. Step in against right-handed Parker Riles. First pitch misses upstairs. Here's the 1-0, off the plate, ball two. Whippet scored six runs in the bottom of the first, sent 11 to the plate. Comes inside with a fastball, gets him to swing over it. Strike one, two balls and a strike to the Warrior left fielder. Warriors are some nice looking white pinstripes uniforms, maroon pinstripes. Called strike, fastball on the inner half. Good looking pitch, counts even at two and two. Choctaw across the front, maroon numbers, maroon stirrups, maroon caps. Two and two, here's the pitch. And he got him to chase one out of the zone for Reliant Therapy strikeout number four on the evening. Number nine hitter in the order, Devontae Isaac up at the plate. Here's the pitch. Taken right down the middle, strike one. Riles fires it in. Oop, that one came inside, way inside on him, ball one. He had to kind of flinch back. One one pitch. Breaking ball. The outer half. Swing and a miss. Strike two. One and two, pitch on the way. That one, they said it hit him. Must have just nicked his sleeve, shoulder. Barely got him, but he gets directed down to first base. That's the first base runner that Parker Riles has allowed tonight. He retired the first eight hitters he faced and then hits Isaac, sends him to first. With two outs and a runner on base, Braylon McMillan, who struck out to start the ball game. Here's Riles working for the first time tonight from the stretch. He puts a fastball inside and swinging strike one. Riles looking over at Isaac at first base. In outfield shading a little bit toward right against the right-handed hitter. Here's the 0-1. Taken, fired down to first from Connor Wallace. Sliding back in, head first is Isaac, ahead of the tag by Albritton. One and one the count. Right versus right here. And he swings and misses in a fastball straight two. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. 
Isaac takes his lead at first. Pretty modest lead. Looks into the first base dugout. Now Riles comes set after checking the runner. Pitch to the plate. Up, ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Riles with a chance to end the top of the third right here. The pitch, runner going. Taking upstairs ball three, throw down, beautifully thrown, tag applied by none. Connor Wallace guns down Isaac on the steal attempt, and that will end the top half of the third. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. We've played two and a half. Kosciuszko six, Choctaw Central nothing. Back with the bottom of the third inning, and Kosciuszko will bring the bottom three in the order to the plate as Kosciuszko Whippet Baseball continues. The beauty of spring starts at the Atala County Co-op. From your lawn to your flower beds, the Atala County Co-op will make it stand out against the rest with fountain, outdoor furniture, plants, and yard art. It's t-shirt weather, and the Atala County Co-op has a large selection of Old Row, Southern Point, and Strut and Cotton t-shirts, and new spring apparel from Ariat and Carhartt. For the perfect drinking experience, grab a brewmate before you head out to the baseball or softball field. The Itala County Co-op, Highway 12 East in Kosciuszko. Tax season often brings about stress and anxiety. When you want to make sure your personal and business finances are well taken care of, trust the experts at Watkins, Ward, and Stafford. Kenny Dungan and staff can ease your mind when it comes to financial questions. If you have questions or concerns about changing tax laws, Watkins, Ward, and Stafford will make sure you understand these laws and how they directly impact you or your business. Watkins, Ward, and Stafford leading their clients through the next generation of change. South Natchez Street in Kazi. Esco. Boswell Media Sports. Busy day going on at the Itala County Fairgrounds. Casiesco and Ethel softball. The Whippet, Lady Whippet Junior Varsity won 4 0 over Ethel. And now the Varsity squads are playing don't have an update on that but we'll get as soon as we get one we'll pass it on to you coach terry squad coming in at three and oh they defeated lake yesterday 12 to four jv team ended with a tie against lake yesterday coach terry squad defending 4a state champions trying to make up some lost games they've got a very busy week ahead these two teams are scheduled to meet over in Choctaw on Friday. Braylon Smith still on the mound, and he gets Albright in a swing and a ball that gets buried in the dirt. Strike one to start the Whippets half of the third. Kosciuszko six, Choctaw Central nothing. This is the first district ball game of the year. Whippets come in at one and two. And he threw, throws a breaking ball, and Albright reaches out and Puts it up in the air, foul over the visitors' bleachers, first base side, 0 and 2 now. All Britain nine, Medine do up. Here's the 0-2 to All Britain, and it's in the dirt in the left-handed batter's box. One ball, two strikes. Of course, district play. Just to remind you, uh, who's uh, Who's involved when we're talking about district play? We'll tell you after this pitch. Smith kicks, delivers. Ball hit hard toward the crowd at the softball field. Ethel fans better watch out over there. One and two. Big Braylon Albritton can hit it hard, hit it a long way. One, two pitch. Here we go. Foul back over our heads. Just hadn't quite timed it up. District four, talking, of course, the old rivals, Louisville. Talking the new rivals down Highway 30. Talking Northeast Lauderdale. You're talking West Lauderdale. Of course, you're talking Choctaw Central. Chops it toward third in foul territory. That's going to still keep the at-bat alive. Dixon was getting on it. Got a softball update, 5 nothing to score. Whippets ahead of Ethel. 
One-two pitch on the way from Smith. He puts one. Had some nice movement on it, but went down and, and away. All Britain not interested in it. Counts two and two. All Britain singled. Drove in a run in the first. And he looks at a pitch. The outer half of the plate called strike three. First strikeout of the night for Braylon Smith. There's one away for the Whippets in the bottom of the first. Now number 22. Excuse me, bottom of the third. I said first, bottom of the third. Frank Law, Frank Shaw Law Firm presents the third inning of Kosciuszko High School Baseball. With our game schedule, we're going to primarily be bringing you the district games. The batter's Jacob Nunn. Jacob reached on a hit by pitch in the first and scored. Scored on the Kalen Powell double. 1-0 -oh pitch. Way outside, but it's a called strike. Smith, the right-hander, puts his right foot on the way over on the first base side of the rubber and fires in the 1-1, and that one's in the dirt away. Two balls and a strike. That one's line foul over the first base dugout. Two and two. Right now, six runs on six hits for the Whippets. And he caught him looking for another strikeout. Two away in the home half of the third. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Braylon Smith, who has retired the last five Whippet batters after a disastrous first inning. Here's the number nine hitter, Anthony Medine, and he chops it foul over in the third base dugout, the Whippet dugout. He can tell you about the Whippets look tonight. Uh, Choctaw Central in those white pinstripe uniforms. Whippets are wearing the black tops with Kosciuszko across the front in maroon. Maroon numerals, everything trimmed in white. White pants, the black socks, black shoes, black caps. Braylon Smith's pitch taken. It's one and one. Nobody on base, two out. Here's a pitch. Breaking ball that's just outside. Two balls and a strike. Medine got hit by the first pitch he saw from Smith in the first. Now the 2-1. Swinging strike. Slow coming around on it, strike two. Smith's uh, found some things that are working for him right now. 2-2 two -two pitch. Inside, fastball, and got him to swing. He couldn't hold back on it. And he strikes out the side. And he's retired six straight Whippet batters. Three innings in the books. Whippet six. Choctaw Central Warriors nothing. Back with the top of the fourth as it'll be the top of the order coming up for the visitors. Kosciuszko Whippet Baseball continues on Breezy 101. The beauty of spring starts at the Atala County Co-op. From your lawn to your flower beds, the Atala County Co-op will make it stand out against the rest with fountain, outdoor furniture, plants, and yard art. It's t-shirt weather, and the Atala County Co-op has a large selection of Old Row, Southern Point, and Strutton and Cotton t-shirts and new spring apparel from Ariat and Carhartt. For the perfect drinking experience, grab a brewmate before you head out to the baseball or softball field. The Itala County Co-op, Highway 12 East in Kosciuszko. 
Tax season often brings about stress and anxiety. When you want to make sure your personal and business finances are well taken care of, trust the experts at Watkins, Ward & Stafford. Kenny Dungan and staff can ease your mind when it comes to financial questions. If you have questions or concerns about changing tax laws, Watkins, Ward & Stafford will make sure you understand these laws and how they directly impact you or your business. Watkins, Ward & Stafford leading their clients through the next generation of change. South Natchez Street in Kazi Esco. Boswell Media Sports. Second Casiesco Whippet radio broadcast of the year. We're coming to you on the, the Boswell Media YouTube channel. Having a little bit of uh, choppy video and some audio troubles. Looks like they're due to some Wi-Fi inconsistencies tonight, so we'll do the best we can. If we can't uh, keep the audio coming to you, we'll switch to the phone. 6 nothing as we start the top of the fourth inning, and it's Braylon McMillan, Cullen Dixon, Gage Lewis, the top three hitters in the Warriors' order. Nice pitch. Breaking ball taken for a strike. Start off the at-bat in the fourth. McMillan. Had a 2-2 count on him when Devontae Isaac was thrown out to, in a steal attempt to end the third. That one didn't miss by much. Connor Wallace tried to help frame it up. It's the outside corner, one ball, one strike from the windup. Here's the pitch. That one missed low. Two balls and a strike. Two and one, here it comes. Chopped over the head of the pitcher, shortstop none coming up on it on the grass in front of the bag, and he makes the throw to Albritton in time to retire McMillan for out number one in the fourth, fourth inning, presented by Central Tire Service. Slow chop. Fielded well. Batters Cullen Dixon, who grounded to short in the first. Four strikeouts so far for Riles. He throws a strike, starts him off with a breaking ball for a strike. Same two teams, 7 o'clock, first pitch, Choctaw Central. Swing and a miss in a pitch that was a little bit up, a little bit out, 0-2. Walker Riles has hit the 50 pitch mark now, crossed that barrier tonight. That one didn't miss by much upstairs, ball one. One and two to Dixon. The outfielders shading him toward, center fielder Powell shading him toward right and playing shallow there as he swings and just catches a piece of it, sends it back to the net. Count at one and two. Riles has looked very comfortable out there. Has only the hit batsman in the third, the only base runner he's allowed. That one came inside and it gets called for a strike three. Whippets get a break on that one. That's Reliant Therapy strikeout number five. Quickly, they were two away. In the Choctaw Central fourth, the batter's Gage Lewis, who struck out looking. Bippets open this season with a 4-3 loss at Pearl. Pitches down and away. Fastball makes it 1-0. Then a 6-2 home loss to Neshoba Central. Good 5-18. team. Of course, coached by former Whippet head coach Jonathan Jones. 1-0 pitch, swinging strike. Counts even. Whippet's last appearance on the diamond was back on Thursday the 24th, and they got a 9-0 victory at Ridgeland against 5A Ridgeland Titans. 
talk about that game a little bit this inning. Swing and a miss. Strike two, about to run out of time this inning. Probably going to have to do it in the bottom half of the fourth. So we'll do time called. Wallace has something to say very briefly to Parker Riles. He's already on his way back to home. One ball, two strikes, the count. Two away, bases empty. Stairs in, now the pitch. That one hit off the fist, rolling along the grass. Going to be a close play, tough play for none, but he makes it. Just gunned it over to Albritton to record the out. Good play by Jacob Nunn for out number three. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. Hitless so far through four, Choctaw Central. As Kosciuszko leads it six to nothing. Be back with the top of the order coming up for the Whippets. Stay with us. We'll be back in one minute. Vehicle maintenance is often a hassle and occurs at the most inconvenient times. Central Tire Service enjoys vehicle maintenance and focuses on getting you back on the road from brakes, alignments, and exhaust to oil changes or new and used tires for your vehicle or ATV. Central Tire Service stocks all the major brands, Kenda, Toyo, Firestone, and Goodyear. They specialize in accessories for your truck or entry lift kits. Central Tire Service, across from Louvel on Highway 35 in Kosciuszko. You bought lumber and you're ready to start digging post holes for that new fence, but not so fast. Do you know where your underground utilities are located? Central Electric Power Association urges you to call 811 for a free marking of underground electric lines and other utilities. Making the call before you dig can prevent a serious or fatal injury, plus it's the law in Mississippi. And please work safely around power lines. Central Electric Power Association, serving you since 1937. This institution is an equal opportunity provider and employer. Boswell Media Sports. Philip Palmertry with you at the Itala County Fairground. Kosciuszko put up six runs in the top of the first. They lead as we start the fourth with Top of the order, do up. Caleb Powell, Landon Wallace, and Connor Wallace. Powell, Wallace, and Wallace. Sounds like kind of law firm that uh, you would need in a tight spot. Six runs on five hits. What I have in the book for Kosciuszko. A lot of the scoreboard functions are not working, so I don't have that to check with. We do have ball strikes out in the score, the things we've got to have. I think says six, run six hits. I can't find that six hit, but I'll, I'll look harder and find it. That one's fouled back by Powell for strike one. I saw that in the, saw that sixth hit in there and I, I'll find it. They've got Powell, they gave Powell the hit on where I gave the error. That one's chopped. Fielded nicely, but then dropped by Dixon, the third baseman. But he recovers in time, and that's no easy task to beat Kalen Powell on a play where Cameron Dixon, the third baseman, dropped the ball. That one was hit very hard toward third on the grass. He got on top of it quickly and retires Powell for out number one in the fourth. Fourth inning presented by Central Tire Service. Batters Landon Wallace, who is singled and hit a fly ball along the shallow, shallow left field caught by the shortstop on a dead run and swing over a pitch that wasn't a very good pitch. One ball, one strike. Left-handed hitting whip at second baseman against the right-hander Braylon Smith. Kick in the delivery. He foul tipped it. Back into the catcher, one and two. Seven straight retired by Braylon Smith after giving up all those hits. One and two, two and two the count as pitch was wasted up and away.
Here's the 2-2. Hit the opposite way. Slicing away from the left fielder, but he's got a bead on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Eight in a row now retired by Braylon Smith. That one's hit far by Connor Wallace to left field. Left fielder going back, left fielder going back. And Pucker, Planet, kiss that baby goodbye. And that's a solo home run for Connor Wallace. He makes the round trip. Pulled it nicely over the left field wall and that makes it seven nothing. Big home run. Good to see the long ball from Connor Wallace. He had three last year, and he got some late in the year that were just beauties. That ends the hitless streak there at eight. Well, the whippet batters here after eight in a row retired the home run. Swinging strike from Will Carter. Will's one for two. Drove in two runs. He hits one hard to left. Left fielder going back, and that one's out of here. Pucker, planet, kiss, that one goodbye. Back-to-back -back home runs, and Will Carter crushed it to left field, and it's 8 nothing Kosciuszko. Will Carter with his first of the season. That looked mighty, mighty good. Not talking about any uh, average stats uh, tonight's ball game. We just haven't had enough sample size for that to mean a lot. Coach York comes out of the dugout for Choctaw Central and he's motioning to the umpire for the ball. He may be about to make a change. Uh, Smith, the uh, Pitcher slumps his shoulders. I don't think he was quite ready to exit the game. But we're in the bottom of the fourth inning. Started off uh, easily enough for Braylon Smith and Choctaw Central. A ground out and a fly out, but then Connor Wallace got a hold of one, drove it out of here to left, and then Will Carter on an 0-1 pitch followed suit, and he sent one. Not too far from where Wallace's ball left the yard over to Ward Whippet Field. Back to back solo home runs. That's Will's third run driven in on the night. Got a new pitcher in the game. We'll tell you about him when we come back. We take this break. Whippet's up in the bottom of the fourth. Eight nothing. We'll be back after this. Vehicle maintenance is often a hassle and occurs at the most inconvenient times. Central Tire Service enjoys vehicle maintenance and focuses on getting you back on the road from brakes, alignments, and exhaust to oil changes or new and used tires for your vehicle or ATV. Central Tire Service stocks all the major brands, Kenda, Toyo, Firestone, and Goodyear. They specialize in accessories for your truck or ATV and install rough country lift kits. Central Tire Service, across from Louvel on Highway 35 in Kosciuszko. You bought lumber and you're ready to start digging post holes for that new fence, but not so fast. Do you know where your underground utilities are located? Central Electric Power Association urges you to call 811 for a free marking of underground electric lines and other utilities. Making the call before you dig can prevent a serious or fatal injury, plus it's the law in Mississippi. And please work safely around power lines. Central Electric Power Association, serving you since 1937. This institution is an equal opportunity provider and employer. Boswell Media Sports. Pitching change for Choctaw Central. They take Braylon Smith out of the game and replace him with a right-hander, Xander Saki. Z-A-N-D-R, 
S-O-C-K-E-Y. Big youngster, Ryan Hander. Two out, bottom of the fourth inning. Smith comes out after giving up back-to-back -back home runs to Connor Wallace and Will Carter. So Saki, the new pitcher. He leaves it upstairs, fastball, ball one to the hitter, Parker Riles. Eight nothing whippets, bottom of the fourth. They got two in the fourth, uh, excuse me, two, six in the first and two here in the fourth. There's a called strike on the outer half. Right versus right. Saki trying to get the last out in the fourth. Here's the pitch. That one's hit a mile high, drifting foul territory. Shortstop coming over, slips for a moment, and it falls right on the line. That's going to be fair, and Riles will slide in safely at second, just ahead of the throw. And the home plate umpire made the right call. That ball looked like it was getting out foul, and then it sort of uh, – Drifted back, looks like it hit right on the line. Coming into the ball game, Eli Kim is going to run for Riles. So give him the double, An unusual double. Ball that looked like it was going to be a foul ball that was playable. Turned out to drop between the left fielder, shortstop, and third baseman. Another extra base hit. Pitch in, popped up. Foul territory is going to get over the screen for Hayden Rogers. Rogers drove in a run in the first with a sacrifice bunt. Eight runs on nine hits for the Whippets so far. Check of the runner at second. That's Eli Kemp. Here's the pitch to the plate. Comes inside off the fist. Line foul in front of the brick barrier on the first base dugout. And the count's 0-2 now on Rodgers. That one's, that one's thrown down to first, and they call him out. They, they say he must have slid off the base. Second, uh, the base runner, Ryan, I mean, Kemp, taking off trying to steal second. He's retired two to five for out number three, and that will end the home half of the inning. Close play down there. But the Whippets get back-to-back -back home runs, add to the lead. Now 8-0 as we go to the top of the fifth. Vehicle maintenance is often a hassle and occurs at the most inconvenient times. Central Tire Service enjoys vehicle maintenance and focuses on getting you back on the road from brakes, alignments, and exhaust to oil changes or new and used tires for your vehicle or ATV. Central Tire Service stocks all the major brands, Kenda, Toyo, Firestone, and Goodyear. They specialize in accessories for your truck or ATV and install rough country lift kits. Central Tire Service, across from Louvel on Highway 35 in Kosciuszko. You bought lumber and you're ready to start digging post holes for that new fence, but not so fast. Do you know where your underground utilities are located? Central Electric Power Association urges you to call 811 for a free marking of underground electric lines and other utilities. Making the call before you dig can prevent a serious or fatal injury, plus it's the law in Mississippi. And please work safely around power lines. Central Electric Power Association, serving you since 1937. This institution is an equal opportunity provider and employer. Boswell Media Sports. Kosciuszko 8 and Choctaw Central nothing as we start inning number 5 from the Itala County Fairgrounds. Fifth inning presented by Itala County Bank. Through four innings, eight runs on nine hits for your whippets. No runs, no hits, one error for the Choctaw Central Warriors. Will be the middle of the order, four, five, six, due up 
foul tip straight down in front of Connor Wallace. Strike one to Hayden Anderson. Hagen Anderson, excuse me. To start the fifth. Parker Riles catches the inside corner for called strike two. Umpires expanded the zone out to the inside the last couple of innings. For sure, 0 oh and 2 the count. Pitch on his way and he swings at a pitch out of zone, but it gets away. And the throw coming up from Wallace in time over to Albritton. So that's a Reliant Therapy strikeout. Number six on the evening for, for Riles. First out, the top half of the third, excuse me, the fifth. Temperature is still dropping out here at the ballpark. 49 degrees right now, but no wind. Humidity's up a little bit. Flagpole in center field, flag just Sitting there not moving, called strike on the outer half to Braylon Smith, who's moved into the DH spot now for Coach York and Choctaw Central. Down 8-0 to the Whippets in the fifth. Swing and a miss. Good fastball there from Riles, 0-2. Cashton Grisham waits on deck. Wind in the pitch. He thought it hit him. The home plate umpire wasn't buying that brief sales job from Braylon Smith inside ball one. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch from Riles. He hits it a mile high in the air in the shallow left center field. Carter calls off none and makes the catch. They're two away. Gaston Grisham comes up with the bases empty. He's 0 for 1, struck out to end the second. Back to that Thursday game, uh, the Whippets got up on Ridgeland early down there, 2 0, then put it 5 in the third and added two more in the sixth to get the win. Ball one to Grisham. Riles ready. Fastball just missed away, 2 0. In that game, Jacob Nine had three hits. Connor Wallace had two. Kalen Powell had two. That's three and out. Coach McBride going to come out of the dugout and have a conversation with his pitcher. We're in the top of the fifth inning. That's Coach Dew, actually, I think, coming out. But in that uh, victory over Richland, doubles from Connor Wallace, Kalen Powell, and Ty Ramage. The Whippets really ran wild on the bases. Kalen Powell had three steals. Cooper Black had three. Hayden Rogers and Landon Wallace also had stolen bases. Whippets had some nice quality at bats. And there's a four-pitch walk issued to Grisham with two out. In the fifth, first walk issued by Parker Riles. Now by number 28, Cameron. That'll bring up left-handed hitting Cameron Dixon. Dixon grounded to third. Two out. Second base runner of the night for the Warriors. Pitch on the way. That's a called strike in her half. Come set from the stretch. Here's Riles' 0-1 pitch. That's going to be fastball off the plate. Dixon not interested in it. Runner goes. Ball lined to short. Going to get down for a base hit in the left center field. Carter over quickly to get it. First and second. Little. Two out action going for Choctaw Central. First hit given up by Parker Riles. Two out in the top of the fifth. Now 
Single line past the shortstop. Hard hit ball. Tristan Henry coming up to bat, but time is called. And Coach McBride coming out. He's going to call in a night for, Mc, for uh, Parker Riles. Going to bring in, looks like, Will Carter. Going to move some personnel around as he's going to put Riles at third. Going to put Medine in right and switch Hayden Rogers over to left. So a lot of parts moving here, and we'll sort it out while we step aside. We'll be back. We're in the top of the fifth inning. Kosciuszko with a commanding 8-0 lead on Choctaw Central. Back after this as Kosciuszko Whip It Baseball continues. From the classroom to the athletic playing field, Holmes Community College provides a world of opportunities. A first-class education, affordable tuition, and accessible locations make Holmes your best choice to further your higher education. Holmes Community College is consistently recognized as one of the best community colleges in the state of Mississippi. Let Holmes Community College fill your needs by providing classes for academic transfer, learning a new trade, or improving your skills through a workforce development department. For more information, log on to the school's website at holmescc.edu or calling 1-800-HOLMES-4. Boswell Media Sports. Pitching change for Whippet head coach Cole McBride. He's going to bring in the left fielder, senior Will Carter, right-hander to relieve Barker Riles after Riles gave up the base hit. He had a no-hitter going. So the Whippet defense shifts around a little bit. Riles will move to third. Anthony Medin goes into right field, and Hayden Rogers goes from right field to left. So the defense, Rogers, Powell, Medin, left to right. Riles at third. Nunn stays at second. Landon Wallace, I mean, excuse me, Nunn stays at short. Landon Wallace at second. All Britain at first. Connor Wallace stays behind the plate. Right-handed senior Will Carter, who hit a ball out of here in the fourth. Six runs in the first, two in the fourth. For the Whippets, eight runs. They lead 8 nothing. They're two out. Inning started out with a strikeout. You can't quite close the book yet on uh, Riles for this game, but he started with a strikeout of Anderson, then got a pop out to shallow center to Carter the left fielder, and then he walked Grisham, and then Dixon lined one hard pass short for the base hit, so runners at first and second for the Choctaw Central Warriors, first time they've had a runner in scoring position, that's the number eight hitter Tristan Henry up. That one, I think it hit him. Did it hit him, or just was it a wild pitch? Wild pitch is now it's scored, the runner's moved up. Came inside, and Grisham gets down to third, and Dixon up to second. 1-0 pitch. Hit the other way, going to drift foul. It's going to get out of play over past the Whippet student section. In left, that makes it an even count now, 1-1. One Carter from the windup brings it in. Fastball off the plate, two and one. Here's the two one. Fastball, and Henry couldn't catch up to it. Two and two. Same two teams meeting on Friday. We'll bring it to you from. Choctaw will be an audio-only broadcast. Carter's 2-2. Got him on the outside corner. Got him looking, and that will retire the side. No runs. One hit. There were no errors. Two left on base. And we're in the middle of the fifth inning. Kosciuszko continues to lead Choctaw Central. 8-0. Stay with us for the bottom of the fifth. 
baseball season is here, and that means fun for the entire family. Atala County Bank is proud to support Kosciuszko Baseball. We wish all the coaches and players a safe and exciting year and encourage fans to get out and cheer on your whippets. Atala County Bank, a branch of Holmes County Bank, 662-290-6963. Or visit atalabk.com. Supporting our community, it's what we do. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Reliant Physical Therapy always provides attentive, focused, and compassionate care for every patient to restore you back to your functional level. Physical therapist Haley Kewen and Adam Bell, along with assistants Veronica Wolfarth and Becca Shields Hayden, offer outpatient physical therapy and post op care for all ages and circumstances. Quality care and attentive time. When you need physical therapy, request Reliant Physical Therapy in Kosciuszko in the Megs Plaza, Highway 35 in Kosciuszko. Transforming lives physically and spiritually boswell media sports welcome back to the italic county fairground softball and baseball going whip it jv with a four nothing victory 12 nothing victory for the jv 13 yeah sorry 13 nothing victory in the JV game, 4-0 was the JV softball score as the Lady Whippets uh, taking on Ethel next door to us. And we had a last score in the sixth inning. I believe it was 5-0 in favor of, excuse me, 7-0 in favor of the Lady Whippets. Xander Saki back out there to face the Whippets. Lead off facing Hayden Rogers. That one way up about the uh, height of the bill of batting helmet there of Rodgers for strike one. Rodgers was at bat when Kemp was thrown out trying to steal third to end the fourth. Whippets eight, Warriors nothing. 1-0 pitch. That one's still elevated. Ball two. From the windup, big right-hander kicks and delivers. Swing and a miss. Choctaw Central, 0-1, Whippets 1-2. and 2-1 two. Two pitch, breaking ball that's uh, fouled up and out of play. Came inside over our heads. Two and two. Batter ready. Rogers waits the 2 2 pitch from Saki. Reaches out for it, lifts it foul, pops it out of play. Just over next to the Choctaw Central bleachers. Been going about an hour and 23 minutes. Started at 6.59 was the Central Electric Power Association first pitch. We're now in the bottom of the fifth. 2-2, off-speed pitch, and he got fooled by it. Swinging strike three, first strikeout for Saki. So one out in the fifth, fifth inning presented by the Itala County Bank. Braylon Albritton, who is one for two. Ethan Woods in the on-deck circle with a pinch hit, the number third spot in the inning. And brushed back, all Britain, ball one. All Britain singled in the first and scored and struck out looking to start the third. First time facing Xander Saki. 1-0. Lined into center field, down for a base hit. McMillan hauls it in on one bounce, and there's a 
Good looking hard hit single by Braylon Albright in his second knock of the night. And batting for Jacob Nunn is Ethan Wood. Ethan Wood coming back from some knee surgery and knee problems. Second appearance of the ball game in which he's appeared. Runner will come in for all Britain. It's going to be Benny Powell running for all Britain. Ty Ramage is on deck. So to reset things, one out, bottom of the fifth. Rogers led off with a strikeout. And all Britain singled to center field. Benny Powell is in to run for him. For at first, and the batter's Ethan Wood. The umpires are taking their time talking about something, <laughs> looking and in, talking into the Warrior dugout for some reason. They've not made any changes, but the Whippets have, and now the catcher and the pitcher want to talk. And maybe it's time to play some baseball. I think that's what everybody paid admission for. Now, senior Ethan Wood, right-hander, facing Saki with a man on first. From the stretch. Took something off that one, gets it at the bottom of the zone, called strike one to Wood. Wood hit 353 last year, hit seven home runs to lead the team, drove in 32 runs, throw to first. Benny Powell in on all fours. Nothing in one to count to Wood. Saki comes set to the plate, way outside. Good job by the catcher, Lewis. Now Powell thinks about it, hesitates, and would have been thrown out, except the throw from Lewis came in on a bounce, bounced past the second baseman covering, and the shortstop was covering behind it, keep anything worse from happening. So that's a strange uh, steal there for Powell. Uh, a couple of things had to go right. He nearly got himself thrown out at second, but now he's at second. One and one to count. Ball chopped towards short, coming up hard on it and throwing it away. Well, that ball, uh, and that's going to allow Powell to score from third with the ninth run of the night. We'll see how that scored. I'm pretty sure that Wood was going to beat that out. Wood's down at first. Good to see Ethan back in action. Going to get him. See if he's going to get a base hit on that. Batters tie Ramage. One out in the inning. The umpires are getting their book right, I guess. Sure take their time doing it. Ty Ramage, freshman, right-hander. Breaking ball outside, ball one. Wood credited with a single, and I think that's the right, the right ruling on that play. Back-to-back -back singles, runners first. Wood taken off, pitch in the dirt, no throw. Easy stolen, stolen base for Wood. So you have to give Ethan Wood the RBI. He drove in Benny Powell. Oh, no, that, they charged the error on the shortstop. That allows the run to score, so no RBI for Wood. Counts now. 2-0, 3-0, 3-0 to Ramage. 
He hasn't seen anything worth swinging at yet. 3-0. and oh. Wood at second. Saki to the plate. Fires in a strike. Fastball right down Main Street. Powell scored on the error. Make it 9 nothing. Just one out in the inning. Check of the runner. Here's Saki to the plate. It's hit high in the air, right field. Right fielder camps under it. Goes over, makes the catch, tagging and moving to third is Wood. Ramage is retired on a fly ball to right. And that does move Wood over to third. So he's at third, and we flip the order over to Kalen Powell, who's credited with two hits tonight. Single and a double. He scored a run. Two for three. Nine nothing the score. Two outs, runner at third. Ball in the dirt, blocked up pretty well by Lewis. Wood stays right there at third with his left foot on the bag. Senior center fielder for the Whippets. Climbs in, here we go. A 1-0 pitch from Saki. On its way. Called strike, outside, way outside, if you know what I mean. One ball, one strike. Powell waves the bat, right-hander. Delivers. That went in the dirt, but again, blocked up well by Lewis, and he checks Wood down at third as keeps the ball right in front of him. Saki starting to bury some pitches in the dirt, make life hard for Gage Lewis behind the plate. From the stretch, the runner at third. Here it comes, two and one, and he bounces that one in in front of the plate again. Blocked up by Lewis. Three balls and a strike. Waving the bat, Powell waits for the 3-1. And he pops it up, but it's drifting foul. Playable though for Lewis, but then he overran the ball over near the on deck area on the first base side. So three and two, Powell staying alive. Full count, two out. Ethan Wood, the base runner at third. Already one run across in the fifth. Here's the payoff pitch. And he... Sends it foul towards softball field area. We'll do it again at three and two. This is by far the longest at bat of the night for Kalen Powell. He came up swinging in his previous three appearances. Three and two. Pitch was up and he lifted it up and it's gonna get out of play behind us. Powell looks disappointed as he looks back into the third base dugout. He's kind of disgusted with himself. That was ball four. Three and two. Another chance for Kalen. Here's the pitch. Chopped toward third. Dixon across. Nice stretch there by the first baseman, Anderson, and they retire Powell. So Woods left stranded at third, but the Whippets get another run. One run on two hits, and there was an error, and a runner left on base. Whippets have stranded four through five innings, and they lead it 9 nothing. Be the bottom of the order coming up 9, then 1-2 for Choctaw Central. Kosciuszko 9, Choctaw Central nothing. Back after this on Boswell Media Sports. 
When an electrical shortage in your office causes extensive smoke and water damage or that musty odor indicates you might have a mold problem, you need a lot more than just help cleaning up. That's why SurfPro Northeast Delta Lands is the authority when disaster strikes. We offer all the cleanup and construction services to take your home or business to good as new and as soon as possible. So no matter what happens, there's just one call you need to make. Call SurfPro Northeast Delta Lands at 662-289-7473 to see how we can help you back to like it never even happened. Franchises are independently owned and operated. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, the Chris Coleman Agency in Kosciuszko, knowing the customer and needs is what we pride ourselves on. We know how important it is for everyone to have the peace of mind that your insurance coverages are tailored for you. Our team recognizes your life and your unique needs. That is why we provide you with numerous insurance options, an easy claim process, and personal attention that is second to none, all at one location without breaking the bank. Call us today at 662-289-1024 or visit us at 235 North Madison Street off the square in Kosciuszko. At Alpha, the Chris Coleman Agency, we guarantee the right fit for you and all of your insurance needs. Boswell Media Sports. Hitting number six getting underway. Will Carter finished up the fourth inning for Parker Riles. Parker went, no, excuse me, I'm looking the wrong one, went, uh, came in the fifth, got the final out. Four and two thirds innings, six strikeouts for Parker Riles, and he gave up just one hit. He hit a batter and he walked a batter. So a nice clean night there and a called strike three for Carter to get out of the fifth. Two men on and we start the sixth. Devontae Isaac, the number nine hitter, lead off and they've got a pinch hitter coming in. And that's, that's Saki. He hits it the opposite way. He's gonna drift foul out of play right side. Saki batting now for Devontae Isaac. Big youngster right-handed hitter against right-handed senior pitcher Will Carter. Carter kicks, delivers, swing, strike, took something off that one, 0-2 now. After Saki, it'll be the top of the order, McMillan, and then Cullen Dixon. Choctaw Central, Kosciuszko leads 9-0 in the top of the sixth. Sixth inning presented by Sullivan's Drugs and Gifts. Oh, and the pitch got away from him and hit Saki. He had to turn his back to it and take it off the top of the shoulder. Had him 0-2. But he let him off the hook. Now by number one, Braylon McMillan. So leadoff base runner for the Warriors in the sixth. And pitch runner coming in, uh, courtesy runner, I should say. We'll confirm who that is. That's Tajon Dixon. Ball hit through the hole on the right side by McMillan. And that'll move Tajon Dixon up to second. Throw gets away from Riles at third, but Got some teammates to back things up there. And, of course, foul territory so small here. Ball comes off quickly, so it's sometimes that's a convenient thing for the corner infielders. So uh, hit batsman and then a single. Brings up Cullen Dixon. Two on, nobody out. Top of the sixth. First real threat that the Warriors have put up. Dixon is 0 for 2, crowned out, struck out looking. Big lead at first, but Albritton's not holding him on in case they want to play some short game. Pitch in the dirt, ball one from Carter. Just the second base hit there from the night for Choctaw Central by McMillan. No runs, two hits, two errors. for the visitors. That one off the plate, 2-0. and oh. 
Two balls, no strikes. Carter moves some dirt around behind the rubber. Working from the stretch here. Outfield playing straight away. On the shortstop, Cullen Dixon. Hunter Wallace scoots to the outside a little bit. Takes an outside pitch and bluffs the throw down to first. Because again, big lead down there for McMillan with Albritton not really holding him on. 3-0. Carter needs to throw a strike. Check of the runner, pitch to the plate. Called strike. Three and one. Carter looks into Wallace, gets the sign, comes set, checks. The runner, and that one's hit under the glove of Riles into left field, but it's hit shallow enough. Rogers getting up on it quickly. Everybody's going to stop. Runner at third held up, and now the bases are full. Nobody out. So hit by pitch, single and single loads the bases for Choctaw Central in the top of the sixth. Now by number 41, Gage Lewis. Gage Lewis can... Get his team back in the game somewhat. As the Warriors have something going in the sixth against Will Carter. Will brings it. Came in and hit him. Hit him on the left hip. Couldn't get out of the way of that one. That will bring home the first run. As Tyjon Dixon... Trots home from third with the first run of the ball game. Nine to one, our score. McMillan moves up to third. Cullen Dixon up to second. It'll be a courtesy runner for Gage Lewis, I presume. But I'm going to double check that. Nope, Gage Lewis will run for himself. Well, short mound visit over about in the time it took me to tell you about it. The base is still loaded, still nobody out. Hayden Anderson comes up 0 for 2. Whippets 9, Warriors 1. Well, excuse me, swing up the first base side. Carter's up on it. He has no play at the plate, but will throw out Anderson at first. So he'll get the RBI on the ground out. McMillan comes home to score, and it's 9-2. to two. It's First base open now. There's one out in the inning. Raylan Smith. The batter, he was tonight's starting pitcher for Choctaw Central, and he he had a bad stretch and then a good stretch and then another rough stretch. He got him out of the ball game. He looks at strike one. Good to see Will Carter get ahead of the hitter. Whippets got six across in the first inning, added two more in the fourth and one in the fifth. Two runs across here for the Warriors. Bounced right back. To Will Carter, they got the runner coming down from third. He'll throw to Connor Wallace, who applies the tag to retire Dixon for out number two. Cullen Dixon retired one to two. So Smith safe on the fielder's choice. Lewis moves to third. Two out the inning, and the batter's Cashton Grisham, the second baseman. He has struck out and walked tonight. Remember to join us on Thursday mornings, 7.35, for the Surf Pro Coaches Show when I get to talk to Whippet Head baseball coach Cole McBride, swinging strike to Grisham. We'll talk about the games from the past week. We'll talk about uh, some of the players and the philosophy of Whippet baseball under new head coach Cole McBride, and we'll take a look ahead at the Game's coming up. That's the Surf Pro Coaches Show at 7.35 and 3.35 on Thursdays, and it's also for your convenience at breezynews.com. Called strike, caught the inside corner, 0-2. Grisham falls behind Carter with two out. 
Runners at the corner. That wide strike zone benefits Will Carter. From the stretch, pitch off the plate, outside, ball one. Last week, Coach McBride and I talked about uh, Whippet defensive philosophy and how he teaches the game to these young men. The emphasis on uh, what you do with your feet first. They nearly got it. Now the runner take it off from third. Beautiful throw from Albritton down to Wallace, who applies the tag as Lewis slid in head first. And he is out at first for Choctaw Central. Still is not up. But how about that for the put out for out number three. Lewis retired two to three to two. Attempting to take home on the throw down. Snap throw to first. Youngster at first getting up. But two runs come across. Two runs, two hits. There were no errors. And one runner left on base. Choctaw Central stranded three. And they trail Kosciuszko 9-2 to as we go to the bottom of the sixth. More Whippet Baseball coming up after this. When an electrical shortage in your office causes extensive smoke and water damage or that musty odor indicates you might have a mold problem, you need a lot more than just help cleaning up. That's why SurfPro Northeast Delta Lands is the authority when disaster strikes. We offer all the cleanup and construction services to take your home or business to good as new and as soon as possible. So no matter what happens, there's just one call you need to make. Call SurfPro Northeast Delta Lands at 662-289-7473 to see how we can help you back to like it never even happened. Franchises are independently owned and operated. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, the Chris Coleman Agency in Kosciuszko, knowing the customer and their individual needs is what we pride ourselves on. We know how important it is for everyone to have the peace of mind that your insurance coverages are tailored for you. Our team recognizes your life and your unique needs. That is why we provide you with numerous insurance options, an easy claim process, and personal attention that is second to none, all at one location without breaking the bank. Call us today at 662-289-1024 or visit us at 235 North Madison Street off the square in Kosciuszko. At Alpha, the Chris Coleman Agency, we guarantee the right fit for you and all of your insurance needs. Boswell Media Sports. Kosciuszko coming to bat in the home half of the sixth inning, leading Choctaw Central 9-2 in the first district game of the year. Same two teams will meet Friday in Choctaw Central. Join us for that 7 o'clock varsity game. Audio only on Breezy 101, the Breezy mobile app, and a live audio stream available at breezynews.com. Click on the Listen Live tab on the right-hand side of the screen for Breezy 101, and you'll follow the Whippets on the road Friday. District play. Landon Wallace leads off the sixth for Kosciuszko. Then Connor Wallace and Will Carter, and each rolls one to short. It's going to be a close play, and the throw gets him off the bag. Gets the first baseman off the bag. Wallace safe. First pitch swinging. Landon Wallace rolls one in. And Cullen Dixon needs to charge that ball. Uh, he stood there and waited for it. And uh, just didn't, didn't get the throw over. Had to hurry it and then pulled Anderson off the bag at first. If that score to hit, and I think it will be, that's going to be base hit number 12 of the night for the Whippets. Landon Wallace, and it is indeed a base hit. Connor Wallace fouls it back. Last time he came up, he crushed a pitch from Braylon Smith over the left field wall for a solo home run. 0-1 to count now to the Whippet catcher, Connor Wallace. Infield single puts Wallace at first. Landon Wallace. Connor has to look at a ball that sails up. It's way over the top of his head. But Lewis snares it. Xander Saki, the right-handed pitcher, taps his chest, saying that was on me. One and one. From the stretch, that one came inside on him. Two balls and one strike. Saki's thrown 33 pitches since coming in. Yeah. 
Come set, looks at Wallace, landing at first. Pitch to the plate, up and away, ball three. Since Saki came in, he's given up four base hits. He hasn't given up any runs. Three-one pitch, here it is, gonna be ball four. You could tell when it left his hand, that was gonna stay up. Wallace gets the base on balls. First walk issued by Saki. The Whippets have their first two batters on base in the home half of the sixth inning. Sixth inning presented by Sullivan's Drugs and Gifts on Highway 12. Cooper Black in to run for the catcher, Connor Wallace. Cooper Black has stolen, has uh, scored a run, scored on a sacrifice bunt. And the hitter's Will Carter. Will singled. Drove in a run in the first, lined out to center, and then hit a solo home run in the fourth. Got two teammates on base. He bunts. Nicely bunted. Ball dies third base line. Wibbins have executed a couple of beautiful bunts, and everybody is safe. Boy, the bunt game has looked great for the Whippets tonight. Bunt single for Will Carter. He's doing it with a long ball and doing it with a short game. Now batting number 25, Parker Riles. A whip it at every base for Parker Riles. Hayden Rogers laid down a beautiful bunt. That one just catches the outside corner. And Riles sort of snaps his head down. Wide strike. Riles doubled the last time he was up. He's one for three on the night. Swings at that one over the top, strike two. Quickly, Riles falls behind. Aiden Rogers on deck. Whip it at every base, infield in with nobody out. Here's Saki's pitch. Lifted in the air, center field. Center fielder has a bead on it, catches it in shallow center field, but the runner tags coming in. Nice throw, and it looks like they got him just by about six inches. Beautiful throw from center field, and a tag applied on the shallow fly ball. Wallace retired. Eight to two for out number one. That's out number two, that's right. And the out recorded Riles on the fly ball. Look at, lots of help. It's my first baseball game of the year. So I'm gonna just claim rust. Third base open, runners first and second. I still got one more basketball game to do tomorrow night down in Clinton. Then it'll be all baseball and softball from here. Runner taking off from third on the pitch. It's outside and sliding in safely with a stolen base is Cooper Black. And also the double steal executed. Carter gets up to second. Now Eli Kemp will come in and run for Will Carter. So Kemp at second. Black at third. The batter's Aiden Rogers. One ball, no strikes to him. So Riles was retired on the fly ball to center field and the sack attempt made, but there's a line drive over the head of the shortstop. Base hit, one run coming in, the throw way back to the backstop, but it's gonna carry him back toward the catcher. So the runner at third's gonna stay there. Kemp will stay as Black comes in to score with run number 10 for the Whippets on the night. Second RBI of the night for Hayden Rogers. He smashed a line drive into left center field and the Whippets lead it 10 to two. Bottom of the six, two out. Braylon Albritton stands in, right-handed hitter. Whippets have runners at second and third now. 
looks at a pitch, ball one. Rogers took second on the throw in the hole. Took something off that one and got Albritton to swing it out in front of it for strike one. Albritton's had two singles. Scored a run. He pops one over past the second baseman into right field. One run in. Second runner cut in for home and the throws up the line. And there's two driven in right there from Braylon Albritton. He's driven in three tonight and it's 12 to two. And that will invoke the run rule and we're done. As Kemp comes in to score and Rogers comes in to score and that makes it 12 to two. And that makes the 10 run rule. We're done in the bottom of the sixth inning. We'll come back with Wendy's post game and we'll name tonight's Autumn Ridge Dental Player of the Game. A lot more to come. Whippets win at 12 2. We'll be back with the Wendy's post game after this on Boswell Media Sports. Reliant Physical Therapy always provides attentive, Thanks, focused, and compassionate care for I every patient better. to restore you back to your functional level. Yeah. Physical therapist yeah. Haley Kewen and Adam you Bell, along with assistants Veronica Wolfarth and Becca Shields Hayden, <laughs> yes, offer outpatient right. physical therapy hey, and the radio guy would do his for job, all ages do and job. circumstances. Thanks, guys. Quality Appreciate care it. and attentive time. When you need physical therapy, request Reliant Physical Therapy in Kosciuszko in the Megs Plaza, Highway 35 in Kosciuszko. Transforming lives physically and spiritually. Vehicle maintenance is often a hassle and occurs at the most inconvenient times. Central Tire Service enjoys vehicle maintenance and focuses on getting you back on the road from brakes, alignments, and exhaust to oil changes or new and used tires for your vehicle or ATV. Central Tire Service stocks all the major brands, Kenda, Toyo, Firestone, and Goodyear. They specialize in accessories for your truck or ATV and install rough country lift kits. Central Tire Service, across from Louvelle on Highway 35 in Kosciuszko. Your pharmacist is more than someone who fills your prescriptions. Your pharmacist helps you understand what medications you're taking. Your pharmacist makes sure your insurance is filed correctly. And your pharmacist answers any other questions you may have regarding your medications. Hi. I'm Rob Pickle, registered pharmacist and owner of Pickle's Drugstore. It is my goal to give you the personal attention you need to improve your health and well-being. My staff and I are here to serve you. Pickle's Drugstore, your hometown pharmacy, on the east side of the square in Kosciuszko. Renaissance Insurance is your neighborhood insurance partner. Renaissance Insurance makes you feel at home with your home insurance. When you hit the road, Renaissance Insurance makes sure it's with the right auto coverage tailored for you. Renaissance Insurance takes the hassle out of sorting through business insurance. One stop, complete coverage. Call Robbie Robertson, Bradley Tyler, or Michael Hatcher at 662-289-4621. Renaissance Insurance, Court Square, Kosciuszko. Boswell Media Sports. Wendy's post game gets underway as we look back at the Whippets. 12-2 win over Choctaw Central. The Whippets now 2-2 two two on the year and 1-0 and oh in district play. And those district wins are very, very important. Choctaw Central 0-2, 0-1 oh oh on the season. T same two teams will meet in Choctaw on Friday night. And we'll bring you that one in an audio-only broadcast starting at 7 o'clock on Breezy 101. The Whippets got a hold of this game early, got six runs across in the first as they brought 11 to the plate. And there were base hits in that inning from Powell, Wallace, um, all Britain. And, in fact, Powell got two hits in that inning. The Whippets got control of it, and Parker Riles was in control of things on the mound uh, for the night. Parker Riles pitches four and two-thirds in and gives up just one hit, no runs, walked one and struck out six. Will Carter came in in relief, pitched an inning and a third and gave up a couple of earned runs along with a strikeout. Uh, Whippets added two more in the fourth to lead eight nothing and added a single run in the fifth. Choctaw Central got two in the sixth to narrow the lead down to nine to two. The Whippets uh, got three across in the home half of the sixth off the big and uh, off of a big inning there, uh, three runs across with a couple of outs uh, in the inning. But uh, in 
put the run rule in effect, and we end 12-2 in the bottom of the sixth inning. Uh, looking at uh, the line score, 12 runs on 15 hits tonight for the Whippets. The Warriors, two runs on three hits, and they committed two errors. Uh, quite a few Whippets with multiple hits. Three hits on the night for Braylon Albritton and Will Carter, and then two base hits for Powell, Landon Wallace, and Connor Wallace. Uh, Good-looking night tonight. Solo shots from Connor Wallace and Will Carter. Riles, Wallace, Connor Wallace, and Powell also had doubles in tonight's ball game. And uh, there were just a, a lot of good – a lot of good performances from a lot of young men is going to make uh, name of tonight's Autumn Ridge Dental player of the game a challenge. But uh, if they keep playing like this, uh, there will be plenty of T-shirts and honors to go around as the season goes on. The Whippets uh, got it done on the mound, played errorless ball in the field, and uh, certainly wore out uh, the two pitchers that Choctaw Central put out there uh, tonight. Uh, Braylon Smith takes the loss in three and two-thirds innings, gave up eight hits, and uh, eight earned runs, struck out three whippet batters. Saki came in for the last two innings and surrendered four runs on the night. But uh, whippet pitching gives up only three on the night. And uh, whippets get that 12-2 to two victory. Hello, this is Dr. Paul Gundy of Autumn Ridge Dental. And we salute the Kosciuszko Whippet player of the game. And now that's something to smile about. Indeed, something to smile about. Thank you, Dr. Gundy. That's my cue to name tonight's Autumn Ridge Dental Player of the Game. As I mentioned, uh, certainly Will Carter, great at the plate. Braylon Albritton, great at the plate. They both uh, fielded some balls well. But we're going we're gonna to start off district play with giving the pitcher the Autumn Ridge Dental Player of the Game tonight. He also had a double in the game. as Parker Riles, four and two-thirds innings. Just one hit, walked just one, hit a batter, and struck out six. So congratulations to senior pitcher Parker Riles. He is tonight's Autumn Ridge Dental player of the game. Autumn Ridge Dental, that is something to smile about. Thanks to Donald for our studio engineer work tonight. Special thanks to our producer, director of the award-winning Breck Riley. He came up and uh, he and I had to swap out some equipment, had to do a little extra to get us on the air and still had some troubles. But we always appreciate Breck's uh, hard work and ingenuity and just out-and-out out determination to get these broadcasts out to you. So on behalf of them and everybody at Basel Media, I'm Philip Palmertree thanking you for listening. We'll sign off from the Italic County Fairgrounds, and we'll get together again. How about we make a, about a 6.50 appointment for Friday night, Whippets and Choctaw Central in the return game in this two-game district series. We'll see if the Whippets can't uh, pick up another win after they get the 12-2 victory tonight. So for everybody at Boston Media Sports, I'm Philip Palmertree thanking our sponsors, thanking you for listening. None of this matters if you don't listen. And until we're together,